Welcome back to the top-down RPG template tutorial series. In this video, we'll explore the mechanics of summoning characters and using summon skills to spawn them. Let's dive right in. To begin, we need to create a new data table using the provided structure from the documentation. Once that's done, we can replace the existing data table in the composite data table accordingly. Make sure that the row name and ID match. You can refer to the documentation for more details on these variables. Additionally, we'll need to create a separate blueprint for our summon characters. Create a child blueprint from the summon character blueprint and set the character's mesh and animation blueprint. Don't forget to assign a unique ID and update the blueprint variable in the data table. Next, configure the animations for our character. If you have a spawn animation, ensure that the blend-in time is set to zero. Now let's move on to creating a skill for summoning our character. Use the Summon Active Skill Base Blueprint as the parent class to create the skill. Override the Get Skill Details function and provide relevant information about the skill. Then, override the Get Summon Details function. Copy the ID from the data table for the Summon character and paste it into the Summon character ID field. If there's a required actor for the summon to be successful, specify it. For example, we can set Corpse as the required actor. Increase the radius for searching the required actor to allow summoning around it rather than requiring precise clicking. We can adjust the summon count based on the skill level and modify the stats and skills for the summon character as needed. Finally, we can make other summoned characters die when this one is summoned by add their IDs into this array. Let's add the skill to the skills data table and the active skills data table.
Ensure that the skill type is set to Summon. Don't forget to include the skill in the skill tree and create a button for it on the widget. Now let's test it out. We should be able to summon our character by using the skill near a corpse. To make it more convenient, we can increase the skill use range in the skill blueprint, eliminating the need to be right next to the corpse. If we summon again, the first summoned character will die. By increasing the skill level, we can summon more characters. Feel free to override these events to customize the skill's logic. By default, summoning beyond the limit will cause the first summoned character to perish. Thank you for watching.